Welcome back to Chiefs Live, presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. An exciting day in Chiefs history. Chief Chairman and CEO Clark Hunt joins us. And Clark, January 9th, 2012, will go down as Romeo Cornell, named the 12th head coach in Kansas City Chiefs history. Very exciting day today. Yeah, it sure is. We're delighted to be able to name Romeo as our coach today. Uh, he did a tremendous job for us at the tail end of the season. And I'm excited on behalf of the organization and our fans to have him leading the team into 2012. For our fans that are watching, Clark, take us through your involvement <clears throat> in this search process as an owner and, and, and how involved were you in the interview process and, and conversating with, with Scott on finding the right hires. We heard in the press mm -hmm. conference more than a half dozen candidates were interviewed in this process before you ultimately chose Coach Cornell. Yeah, uh, one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we did uh, when we made the change with our head coach four weeks ago was be as thorough as possible. Uh, that was one of the advantages of getting a, an early start on it. We were able to interview some people before the end of the season, uh, interview our last candidates uh, this past week, and ultimately make the decision on Romeo. Uh, Scott leads that process, uh, and uh, um, I'm involved with him in all the interviews. And um, it, it's a great chance to learn a lot about your football team, uh, talking to a lot of smart people uh, who know the game of pro football and hear what they think about your, your roster and your prospects as, as you go into 2012. And uh, at the end of the day, it was clear to us that Romeo was the right man for the job. We heard Scott say in that press conference that the final three games did have a, a large impact on his hiring. He talked about accountability, the change in energy, and overall mm -hmm. leadership. At, at what point were you sold as Romeo Cornell being this, this new head coach of this team? Uh, well, clearly uh, Romeo had an opportunity that no one else had, which was to coach the team for three weeks and show us what he could do. And, and he really did a terrific job. He came in and, and stabilized the team, uh, led us to the, the great victory over the Green Bay Packers, and then finished up the season on a strong note, beating the Denver Broncos. Uh, th that clearly said a lot for his capability uh, as a head coach, but probably the thing that pushed it across the finish line for me was uh, the interview with him. Uh, something that came through in that interview was how competitive Romeo is. He's naturally a, somewhat of a laid back person, so you, you don't necessarily see that. But in talking to him, it's clearly very important for him to win. He's very proud of those five Super Bowls that he's been part of winning. And uh, he told us in the interview that his goal is now to, to win a Super Bowl as the head coach. Since you've become the chairman of this football team, consistency has been, has been a, uh, a term that's rung true with you. And so I guess I'd ask you, with, with Romeo Cornell, what quality, qualities does he bring that, that he can, can consistently compete for championships as the head coach of this team? Uh, well, first of all, Romeo is a tremendous football coach. And I think you can see that looking at his career. Uh, almost everywhere he's been, they've had success. Uh, most of that's been on the defensive side of the ball where he's been a defensive coordinator or a defensive line coach or a special teams coach. Um, he, he's very strong on fundamentals, uh, and I think you saw that in the last three weeks of the season with the Chiefs, is uh, fundamentally we were a sound football team. Uh, that tends to lead to consistency. Um, uh, he also brings a tremendous passion and energy uh, that the football players uh, feed off of. And I think you saw that. Uh, he's a great leader and that they wanted to play their best for him. And I think for all those reasons, he's going to make an outstanding coach. One of the things that you said that struck me in the press conference is that you like the foundation of this franchise moving forward. And so what are your goals for the 2012 season, big picture, and I guess beyond as well? Yeah, well, the goal every year is to improve. Uh, we were disappointed not to make the playoffs this year. Uh, coming off of the division championship in 2010, uh, we wanted to get back to the playoffs, and we came very close, uh, a blocked field goal away from, from making the playoffs. Clearly, as we go into 2012, uh, we want to get better. Uh, and we not only want to be able to make the playoffs in 2012, but hopefully have a chance to advance in the playoffs. That's really the next step for this organization, ultimately leading to our, our goal of winning a championship. Clark, on a very exciting day, we want to thank you so much for joining us on Chiefs Live. And Chiefs fans, when we come back, you'll hear from Mitch Holthus and the general manager of the Kansas City Chiefs, Scott Pioli.